Hello everyone, welcome back to Epify Lab and if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe this channel and uh, click on the uh, notification icon so that you can get the update whenever the uh, new video is up uploaded. And if you want to get help from us, then you can post your question on our Facebook group. This video will be short and I'm will go. I I'm going to show you something nice and uh, in the last video I, I was stuck a little bit so I was not sure what was, what was happening there. So uh, in my last video, I told you that whenever you delete the block, it should delete uh, the other information from the block categories as well, okay, and the block text as well. So let's go ahead and uh, try to do it. And before we do it, we have a problem is that our primary key cannot be big integer and 20 length. I'm not sure what it is. And if you guys know it, let me know. So the integer, and then it can be 10. And then uh, here, uh, let's keep it uh, same as well. So, and definitely in these things you can make uh, with your migration right from your Laravel migration. Okay, so you are always better to do this relationship uh, when you create the migration file. I suggest that way. But in case if you forgot um, how to do that uh, uh, from your uh, PHP my admin uh, interface or SQL Pro and interface then uh, this is how you do it okay so we go to the block category and uh, the relationship tabs and then click plus sign and block category block ID reference on blocks and um, yes uh, it's literally ID so whenever um, ID is deleted it should delete the uh, row as well here and okay, let's check. Cannot add foreign key constraint. Okay, let's check it other way around. And if we have solution for that, ID is block categories, and we have a block ID here. We can say until it cascade. Cannot add foreign key constraint. Mm, one thing is that it has to be same structure. So let's go ahead and check the structure. ID. Let's make it to 10 as well. And unsigned, unsigned. It has to match. Block ID. Blocks. Perfect. I think we added that. For the block categories so let's check um, we have block text let's remove 72 73 these are not in use so we are free to delete that these are no longer in use so let's change the structure here as well similar to what structure we had and this is not the correct way of doing your uh, relationships you can do it just using directly from your uh, Laravel migrations uh, block tags should have the tag ID sorry the block ID with blocks and ID okay so we have two relationships defined uh, if I go to my front end and if I delete my uh, ID 7 to 1, it should delete uh, from that places as well. Okay, let's see, let's see if it works. 
Perfect, you see, block text um, ID 71 has been removed automatically and for 77, the category ID. So you guys know how to do these things and it's just really important to keep your uh, database uh, neat and clean. So let me know guys uh, if you can, if you could do it yourself and need any helps from me. Uh, one more thing is that you could again and again, I'm saying you could do it from your Laravel migration, these relationships. And if you somehow forgot, you can do it just from here, okay? Just remember, you need to keep this thing same, same so that your primary key and foreign key is exactly the same structured or uh, data type and length, okay? This has to be very much similar. Thank you.